You might be tempted to gobble everything up from the Costco bakery, but with certain items you could be getting more than you bargained for. Costco sells most of its bakery items in bulk sizes. That means getting a lot of something fresh for a great price, but it also means that they can spoil quickly. Their bagels have long been a fan favorite, but there are some pitfalls to look out for. Customers have complained that the 24-count packs get moldy within one or two days of purchase, even in climates that aren't especially humid. If you do love Costco bagels, don't fret too much. Instead, just take some simple steps to keep them fresh. Slice them and store them in your freezer, then pull them out to toast when you're ready to take a bite. If you have a lot of people to feed, you can freeze one pack and use a bread box to store the other. Oh great, so much for bagels. <laughs> If you're looking for an easy and delicious dinner finale, then Costco cheesecake just might have your name on it. But there are reasons to be wary of this creamy treat. Sure, it's decadent and delicious, but that comes at a serious nutritional price. Just one slice has between 400 and 550 calories, 57 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of fat, including 13 grams of saturated fat. All of those figures eat up a hefty portion of your recommended daily allotments. But there are ways to indulge without going going overboard. Rather than buying a bigger cake to ensure that everyone can have a slice or two, simply thin out your slices. The 10-inch round cheesecake serves 16 people, while the 8-inch is meant to serve 12. But feel free to just trim those slices down and serve an even bigger crowd. That way, your guests will leave feeling satisfied rather than overstuffed. Costco's chocolate chunk cookies are an easy and fun treat for every age. Bakery fresh and loaded with chocolate, this timeless favorite delivers plenty of chewy, gooey deliciousness. And when you pair them with milk, it doesn't get much better. Alas, they're also among Costco's unhealthiest cookies. They're oversized, measuring about three and a half inches in diameter and two thirds of an inch thick. Each one contains 210 calories and 16 grams of sugar, as well as 120 milligrams of sodium. So you could be in deep trouble if you have difficulty stopping yourself at just one cookie. As for the ingredients, these cookies contain some artificial flavors, which isn't terribly unusual. Still, you'd probably do just as well buying some dough and baking your own. That's right. Okay, some time food. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buttery, rich, and a perfect partner for coffee. Costco's plain croissants are certainly flavorful. A Kirkland signature product, they're sold in a 12-pack and baked fresh at the store. That means they're best eaten within a day or two of purchase. You probably don't want to freeze them unless you can toast or air fry them, although that's not exactly the traditional way to serve a warm croissant. Plus, they may lose a bit of flavor after being frozen. Unfortunately, when it comes to nutrition, they contain 11 grams of saturated fat and don't have much fiber. On the positive side, though, they are at least made with real butter. Alas, that also makes them high in sodium, 330 milligrams per serving to be exact. It's wise to buy them only for special events and forego them as an everyday breakfast treat. If you're looking for deep, rich chocolate flavor, you might be tempted to buy some of Costco's double chocolate muffins. However, you probably want to reconsider. Sadly, they look more decadent than they taste, and they don't even have a chocolatey scent until you get up really close. This is a shame because the chocolate chip chunks are weaved into the muffin top giving it a mouthfeel that's more like a frosted cupcake than a muffin. Plus, the taste is more comparable to Dutch chocolate than to something like devil's food flavor. You're better off trying just about any other Costco muffin first, even though it may be difficult to resist sampling the double chocolate for yourself. Chocolate! Kirkland Signature's braided apple strudel is definitely a hit with bakery fans. You can dress up these handhelds by heating them in an air fryer or a toaster oven, and then topping them off with some vanilla ice cream or caramel. But you should know that these little strudels can be quite fattening. Slicing them into smaller portions can help mitigate that at least a little bit. If you're hosting a party, try spearing the slices with skewers and whip up a delicious caramel dipping sauce. However, there's another reason to be wary. You might expect most Costco bakery items to be created on-site, but that's not true in this case. The strudel actually arrives frozen, which isn't what you usually want when shopping at a bakery. Costco's seasonal strawberries and cream bar cake is big on promise but short on delivery. The taste isn't the problem. It's layered with icing that's more like fresh whipped cream than standard sugar icing. Another bonus is that it doesn't contain artificial flavors. Instead, beetroot juice is used to dye the confections that decorate the top, and the cake itself uses natural strawberry puree between the layers. Despite all that, there's one big problem. It doesn't contain any actual strawberries. The puree is all well and good, but plenty of 
shoppers have been disappointed that Costco didn't go the extra mile by including real fruit. But it's not the same. Tasting more like a muffin than a cake, Costco's lemon poppy seed loaf isn't that bad, unless you really like a robust lemon flavor in your muffins. The lemon flavor is there, but it's no more than a hint. In fact, most of it is in the frosting, which is far too sweet and thick. You actually might improve your slice by scraping it off. The cake itself is light and springy, making it tough to stick to a single serving. Another issue is that one serving is only 1 22nd of the whole loaf. At that size, one piece has 230 calories, 13 grams of fat, and 17 grams of sugar. Of course, you can knock quite a bit off those numbers if you remove most of the frosting. Topped by a delicious crumble, Costco's pumpkin streusel muffins are a nice cozy treat to pair with a cup of coffee or tea by the fire. The biggest problem, though, is that the serving size is just half a muffin, and even then, the nutritional facts are quite daunting. One half contains 340 calories, 21 grams of sugar, and 17 grams of fat. And if you eat the whole thing, those numbers of course double. Despite that pitfall, some shoppers were upset when their local stores didn't bring back these muffins as quickly as other locations did. Costco rollouts depend on location, availability, and other supply chain logistics. Still, it's no fun watching other people enjoy your favorite treat on social media while you can't join in. Eventually, all stores did stock this coveted treat, so patience is a virtue when it comes to seasonal items at Costco. These muffins come in two packs containing six each each for a total of 12 muffins or 24 servings. This makes them an excellent choice for large crowds rather than overindulging in all of them yourself. You know, I don't talk about it a lot, but I went through a pretty major muffin phase in college. Another recent addition to the Costco bakery is their apple fritter loaf, though it may not be the best choice to serve your guests. Even though it's fully baked, the look and feel of this loaf may have you questioning whether it's undercooked, and the taste comes off as a little artificial. The ingredients could be to blame. The added cinnamon blend is primarily made of sugar. Furthermore, there are multiple artificial flavors and several preservatives. So it's fair to say that the apple fritter loaf contains a lot of additives that really impact the flavor. If you're an apple fritter fan in general, you'll likely be disappointed by this one. Luckily, there are plenty of other perfectly yummy apple desserts at the Costco bakery to indulge your sweet tooth. The great thing about a new season is that it means new items from Costco, which are usually incredibly mouthwatering. That's certainly true of their caramel apple mini cakes. They're actually cupcakes, though they're decadent enough to earn the mini cake label. They consist of a caramel-flavored cake topped with frosting made with condensed milk. Then it's all topped with caramel syrup and apple pie filling. This incredibly delicious treat is baked fresh at Costco, but alas, the ingredients contain way too many artificial flavors and preservatives. The buttercream icing is at least made with real butter, but that doesn't make up for the fact that it has artificial flavors, corn syrup, and palm oil. These apple mini cakes come in a six-pack, which seems reasonable enough. The calorie count for each is 380, while the sugar total is a whopping 34 grams. This treat is pretty messy to split up, so you might be tempted to eat the whole thing in one sitting. Considering that, it might be best to just avoid the temptation entirely. Autumn at Costco means the return of fall favorites. For 2023, the chain brought back their double-crust apple pie. Instead of a traditional lattice topping, this pie features a full-sized crust on top, just like the bottom. One thing to really love about this pie is that it's made with organic apples and seasoned with cinnamon. It certainly sounds delicious, but at more than 4 pounds, it weighs about the same as a laptop. Lugging it home may even qualify as your workout for the day. With a pie this thick, it might also be challenging to divide it evenly. Costco fans appear to be divided here, with some feeling that double crusts are too indulgent. But if you, in fact, love pie crust, this dessert might actually be a must-have item for your holiday gatherings. Many shoppers are obsessed with Costco's danishes, though opinions vary. It might depend on the particular flavor. One option is the Kirkland Signature Lemon Cream Cheese, which could actually disappoint lemon lovers as the flavor is pretty subtle. They're also very cheesy, so if you like a pastry on the cheesy side with just a hint of flavor, then go for it. But beware that these are truly stuffed with filling, making the texture more soggy than crisp. 
If you like more intense flavors, then the apple or strawberry cream cheese varieties pack more of a punch. One particular fan favorite is the Kirkland Signature Almond Danish. The flavor is wonderful, though the nutrient list might put you off. It contains 750 calories with 47 grams of fat, 380 milligrams of sodium, and 31 whole grams of sugar. And there's also the beloved Cherry Danish, though Costco has recently repackaged this treat, forcing customers to buy a two-pack. If you don't have anyone to split it with, you can stick one in your freezer and take it out later when you've built your appetite back up. If you think the Costco bakery is an ideal place to buy a sheet cake, you're right. One half sheet can serve up to 48 people, making this quite the bargain for a large party. Costco's standard sheet cakes are available in vanilla with cheesecake mousse filling or chocolate with chocolate mousse, both topped with buttercream. Unfortunately, they're so popular that they often sell out pretty quickly. Now, you might think that you could always order a custom cake instead by just picking up the phone. Alas, Costco doesn't take cake orders over the phone. A few stores can handle a fax request, but who has a fax at home these days? Your best bet then is to actually go to your local Costco and complete an order form. To ensure timely delivery, place your order two to three days ahead of time. The good news is that their custom options have more variety and you don't have to worry about them selling out.